Thank you, Katarina, for stopping by and uh, allocating a few uh, minutes of your precious time for this quick improv interview. Would you tell us quickly, in a few sentences, what is that you do at the IH, IHS market and uh, what does it encompasses? Sure. Well, first of all, I would like to say thank you to you and the organizers of Barrel Elites. This is a wonderful conference and uh, kudos to you putting together su such a wonderful event. Um, so at IHS Market, I'm a product specialist of one of our uh, products that's called Research Signals. So Research Signals at IHS Market is an internal equity quant team. Um, our product um, is a library of, of factors and models, uh, stock selection essentially library. Uh, we uh, utilize um, a uh, systematic process to evaluate a variety of data sources to build all these factors and models for our clients. So we utilize fundamental, industry-specific data sources as well as unique alternative data sources. Also, our focus is uh, using our proprietary IHS market own content or content as well. So, uh, within our Research Signals product, we use about 30 plus uh, different data sources. So, which in effect uh, serves as a um, very cost effective and efficient way to consume a, a, a data product such ours is that. We, um, first of all, we do a rigorous data analysis, data validation, cleansing process before we create uh, these signals. Do you also harvest that data? Uh, so yes, as I mentioned, our uh, signals are built um, uh, uh, as part of um, some of our data sources. Um, some, some of those that I mentioned are IHS market owned uh, data sources. So for example, uh, we use market security fi finance data source, which is previously called uh, data explorers uh, to create, uh, so an example of, of some of the factors and models that we create, uh, one of such examples is a short squeeze model. So short squeeze model utilizes our proprietary data source uh, uh, that is called market securities finance. Um, and a little bit about our uh, team as well. Research Signals is the uh, previously called QSG. So some of our clients know, still refer to us as QSG, Quantitative mm -hmm. Services mm -hmm. Group, is one of those leading um, factor library providers that had been established since early 2000s. And essentially we provide this derived content uh, that, that has uh, been cleaned, back-tested, in sample, out, out of sample to provide this clean point-in-time data to our uh, client base. Uh, so essentially this is what our clients are looking for mm -hmm. given the newest development in machine learning and AI where you would need those types of um, signals which have been derived and are built on a variety of data sources including alternative. I imagine you have a pretty broad client base. Can you maybe, uh, without going into specifics, like who are your clients? Yeah, sure. So um, our primary client base, just uh, so if we're speaking about Research Signals product, mm -hmm. um, are quants, quantitative shops. So those systematic hedge funds that have a data-driven data strategies. Mm -hmm. Uh, where they essentially do their top-down approach into creating uh, their uh, thesis and strategies. So uh, data really drives their decision making. So it's about 80% of our client base. Um, though we've been seeing some growth in terms of the fundamental investors trying to utilize um, data sources, data products such as ours, mm -hmm. right, in our product. Uh, so primarily what we've discussed um, in this conference yesterday and today, uh, the fundamental managers are looking at those uh, processes that's been already adopted a long time ago by quants, right? So now fundamental managers are looking at ways how they can create a top-down approach as well. So uh, those, uh, those uh, fundamental funds um, that some may call quantumental uh, edge funds. So we've been seeing some growth um, in development um, 
in, in that interest as well. So they're looking at using potentially a variety of alternative data sources and factors, um, such as our factor library, in order to come up with the initial screening or thesis, at least narrowing down their universe by using a variety of different sources and kind of, and then from that taking, once they have, they've reached some sort of a um, customized universe based on their criteria uh, to take those uh, companies and do a deeper deep dive what normally fundamentals uh, fundamental research uh, funds do. And then uh, in very, very conclusion, then uh, did you enjoy our conference? Did you uh, have a lot of connections? Did you make uh, business deals maybe perhaps? I don't know. I very much enjoyed the conference and I wanted to say thank you for organizing this. This is a very unique conference in the way that um, that uh, the venue that you picked and the uh, the types of uh, the audience uh, it's not that your traditional uh, type of audience that we're used to in the data world um, so it's good to see a different uh, audience from our perspective so I enjoyed it very much uh, especially the the content of the panels um, was very informative, great discussions. I enjoyed uh, my panel as well and great to see some of our own clients here and uh, industry awesome. friends, yeah, great to catch up. Um, and yes, and great to learn what people are doing um, with other asset classes other than equities uh, where uh, I'm, I'm actually involved. But, uh, but yeah, so absolutely amazing event and uh, looking forward to your next event. And I also wanted to add, um, Vidak is, uh, is a man of many talents. Uh, it was great to see him uh, on some of these panels um, and, and uh, later on. And play. later on, yes, play a, a flamenco guitar. Uh, so uh, that was that was that was great. Um, and I thank you very much, Katarina, for Thank you chat. so much. Thanks thank for you. having me here.